Welcome, I'm John Isley, and I'd like to welcome you to the summer session of JTC 335, Introduction to Digital Photojournalism. The course was developed in 2017 by Larry Stewart, and you'll literally hear his voice as you go through the material. Unfortunately, after a long-term illness, Larry passed away last spring, so I'll be your instructor this, this summer. Let me give you my contact information. And this is also in the syllabus. As I record this in May, CSU's offices have been relocated to everyone's homes. While campus, when campus opens again, I'll be back on campus. You can get in touch with me several ways. You can message me in Canvas, send me an email, or call my office, which rings through to my mobile phone. If it's helpful, I'm happy to set up a video conference or FaceTime with you. Problem solving is often easier to do talking it through, and I would not give you my cell phone number if I didn't expect you to use it. When we're back on campus, feel free to stop by my office in C-115 Hartshorn. I do have suckers. If my door is open, I'll make time for you. If it's just cracked, come on in. It's really noisy out in the hall. If you're making a special trip over, it's a good idea to call or shoot me an email just to make sure I'm there. As a working photographer, I'm out on assignment a good bit, and I can be a moving target. Let's talk a little bit about the structure of the class. JTC 335 for this summer is an accelerated eight-week class. Because this course is going to require an extensive amount of discussion and feedback, the structure may be a little different than some of your previous experiences. There are 16 modules. You'll work on two modules per week, and you'll be working on both of them simultaneously at any one time. I strongly suggest you not wait till Sunday afternoon to start your assignment. Producing photos on demand is a little harder than you think it is. Give yourself some time to struggle a little. The modules in this course run from Thursday at midnight until, or uh, Wednesday at midnight until the following Wednesday at midnight. Your typical week is going to look something like this. From first thing Thursday until midnight Sunday, you're going to complete your weekly readings and do your resources. Do a draft of your weekly photo exercise. Post it to your website. Discuss the course content with your peers. Ask questions. Answer the weekly discussion questions and share the link to your weekly photo exercise in your discussion post. Submit that link in to, for, for grading to, to, to Canvas. If you want preliminary feedback, by all means, ask for it. Starting first thing Monday until midnight Wednesday, again, discuss the course content with your peers. You're going to provide feedback and critique on each other's photography exercises. It's, you have an opportunity to revise your, your, your photo if you want to, update if you need to. There may be quizzes. Let me rephrase that. There will be quizzes. Uh, keep an eye out for them. A couple of things to point out on the syllabus. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You're, you can do that on your own. Number one, all photos that you use for this class must be taken during this class. So nothing shot before May 18th of 2020 is acceptable. Two, this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Do not lie about or with your photos. By that I mean don't give caption data that's wrong or that misrepresents your photos. And don't submit a photo that misrepresents the situation. Those represent academic misconduct. And our first offense will result in a zero for the assignment and a report to the department for their records. A second offense will result in an F for the class and a report to, report to the university for academic discipline. And I hope I never have to do that. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm a full-time staff photographer here at CSU. As a university photographer, I'm one of the last of the true generalists. My assignments here cover everything from athletics to zoology, sometimes both on the same day. Before discovering university work in 2000, I was a magazine photographer covering federal policy on the staff of National Journal magazine in Washington, D.C. Before that, I did mostly newspaper work. Uh, since we're encouraged to talk about our cameras, I've been a Nikon guy since the mid-1980s when I sold my aging Canons. Right now, I'm using a D5, a D4, and a Z7. I'm a really visual person. If you've got camera questions, I can pretty much navigate all the Nikons other brands we might want to do by, via FaceTime. 
I know what I'm looking for, but I may not be able to recall where somebody put that pesky button. My play cameras are a pair of Sony A6000s, one for visible light and one for infrared light. I've been teaching the resident class for several years. This spring was my first go at the online class. If I miss something, give me a holler and we'll learn about it together. I'll also post a quick slideshow of some of my work so you can see what kind of photos I like um, and get to know me a little bit better and see what my work year typically looks like. I'm looking forward to this year. Let's have some fun with it and learn a lot.